What's up everyone, this is Mini coming at you with another video in the How I Build It series. Today I will be covering the Tier 9 Premium Italian Battleship, the Giuseppe Verdi. But before we get into this, a quick reminder, don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment down below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. About 70% of you guys watching this video haven't hit it yet, so make sure to hit that to help me keep making great content. Anyway, let's get into this. The Giuseppe Verdi was released very recently in World of Warships. It's available in the Armory for 19,300 doubloons, Italian Tier 9 Premium Battleship, and it is a blast to play. What makes this one unique is in addition to the standard 3x3 406mm guns, it boasts a boatload of secondaries, and these secondaries are all semi-armor piercing, which allows you to have some really fun play styles with it. Now, first thing, you need to take Luigi Sanzanetti on this, and here's why. Even with what I'm running, I'm only getting a 19.1 kilometer range, and while you'll see there's a way to increase that without it, Sanzanetti's first kill, uh, or Sanzanetti getting the first kill on him, gets you the far reach talent, gives you the 8% range, which is really, really nice. Additionally, if you get the Confederate achievement, you get the main battery reload time buff, which is nice. On Cincinnati, I run this for a secondary build. This thing is hilarious with secondaries and with the various stuff, you can get your secondaries out to 10.5 kilometers, which means you're just a little bit under Georgia range and the German battleships. Now, I run, of course, gun feeder, 75% chance to switch or uh, reduce time to switch shells, which is really critical. Spot number two, because I'm going to run the reload um, equipment on this, you need to run Grease the Gears to get that main battery traverse speed up. Your spot threes are going to be your standard long range secondary battery shells and adrenaline rush, and your spot fours, your uh, tier fours are going to be manual secondary battery aiming, as well as concealment expert. Now, that'll leave you with four points left once you get to a 21 point commander. Choice is up to you whether you think you need Fire Prevention Expert to reduce the chance of catching fires and lower the fire chance by one, or if you think you need Emergency Repair Expert to have the extra heal. Either one of these is valuable because since the, uh, since the Verde gets smoke, you can use smoke to disappear and let the fires burn out, but having one less fire on your superstructure can be really valuable. I don't think you're making a wrong choice here with either, though I would probably lean more towards fire prevention expert. Next up, let's talk about what equipment you should be putting on this. Slot one is fairly simple. You're gonna go with main armaments mod one. Spotting aircraft is tempting to consider because of the reduced range, but once again, I'm building this for brawling with secondaries. So while the range is nice for early in the game and late in game where you might be chasing down ships at range, I like making sure that all of my stuff survives better because you need your guns to be in a good spot. You could also make a strong case for the secondary battery survivability mod being taken, but I usually stick with main armaments mod. Slot two, I like to take the engine room protection in order to make sure that my engine and steering gears don't get slapped while I'm in this, though DCS mod one is once again a absolutely reasonable choice. In slot three, as I'm running this for secondary, you need to run the secondary battery modification, get the 20% greater firing range and lower the dispersion by 20%. If I wasn't running that, I would be going with aiming systems to get better accuracy or a case could be made for the main battery traverse speed. Slot four is going to be prop mod. I run prop mod on almost all of my battleships. It makes it so easy to speed juke, dodge torps, etc. by having that, and it's way more worth it in my opinion than damage control system mod 2. In slot 5, I run control uh, concealment system, get myself that lower detectability, and of course the dispersion of shells. And then slot 6, the one where there's a little bit of debate. I like to run the main battery modification, which gets me the lower reload time, comboed with worse traverse speed, but that's balanced out by the captain skill I took. This gets my reload on my guns down to 27.3 seconds base, and then AR makes it even better. But there's a case to be made where if you're saying, you know what, I wanna play this at range, you could run main battery firing range on that, get this thing over the 20 kilometer, almost 21 kilometer mark for range base. Down here in consumables, I don't see it as being needing to run the. Um, I don't see needing to, to run the fighter. I recommend spotting aircraft. Have that range if you need it. You get four consumables. It's nice. Fighter only helps you if you're in a CV game, and 
as a Giuseppe Verdi, you also have the advantage of being able to run your exhaust smoke generator. Um, because it's a full speed gen uh, smoke generator, you can get and stay in that for much longer. Additionally, because of some of the flags I'm running, you've got 70 seconds in smoke, which is a really nice amount of time to be able to get yourself dark or just let your secondaries light up an opposing ship. Finally, let's talk about the exterior. Now, camouflage, of course, it comes with the standard 100% uh, XP per battle, 20% cheaper service cost. But as always, tier nine premiums are the best bang for your buck in terms of credit generation and XP generation. So you're not wrong if you want to consider using one of your other camos on it to be able to maximize that. Over in flags, once again, if you unless you have a special flag, it doesn't matter what you run. Let's talk signals. And signals, first off, tier 9 premium means I'm going to run all the specials, all the economic, get as much out of this as I can. In combat, it's absolutely paramount that you run X-Ray Papa Una 1 because that one... It gives you the 15% smoke generation consumable time, which really, really helps with being able to sit in smoke and escape or deal secondary damage without being spotted. I also like to run Mike Yankee gets me that extra 5% secondary battery range, which takes it from 10 uh, kilometers to 10.5, along with ship speed, uh, health recovery, the flooding and the fire extinguishing time reduction and the detonation flag if I was kidding this out for ranked brawls competitive etc you can make a case for considering adding on die hard as the last flag or in my opinion adding on the aa damage because you're not taking the fighter preparation and reload time of ship consumables has a case as well but i don't like that one as much you don't need india x-ray or victor lima because you're rarely firing he with your main guns and since your secondaries are all sap you don't get the advantage of this on your secondaries Anyway, that's how I could out my Giuseppe Verdi. Help helps you when you're making your builds. Don't forget to like the video. Leave me a comment telling me what ship you want me to do next. And make sure to subscribe. This is Mini, signing off.